today we are going to level up our rhythm. And if you really want to sound better, it's not learning how to solo in all those scales, but it's elevating your rhythm to the next level. Today we're going to do so in a soulful fashion using the major scale harmonized with thirds and sixths. If you like this kind of content, hit subscribe, new ukulele every single Wednesday and Saturday. All the tabs on the screen, but you can get backing track and printable tabs by becoming a Patreon. Links in the notes. Emails in the description if you want some one-on-one -on -one lessons. Let's do it. Grab the ukulele brain attention span, follow me on in, and let's break it down. So everything that we're doing today is going to be coming from the C major scale. To review the C major scale, it's O, two, O, one, three, O, two, three. No sharps, no flats. We're also going to be using intervals thirds, flat and major thirds, sixth and fourths as well. So I have the scale harmonized completely here with the C major in thirds and the C majors in sixth. So we're going to go ahead and run through that. C majors in thirds, meaning we're having the low note here and harmonizing it with thirds. Now this happens naturally in a scale by the thirds by playing a note and skipping a note. So the third you build it, if you play the C, you skip the D and play the E, okay? Now this isn't an interval lesson. You don't need to understand intervals to follow along. And if you want to understand intervals more, I'll put some links in the description, but you don't have to understand intervals to follow this lesson. And I don't wanna to dive too deep into them. For right now, if you're following along, all you really need to know is that they sound really nice. So here they are in thirds. Five, three, seven, five, eight, seven, in thirds. In sixths. Sixth is another interval. And again, not diving too deep into them, but there are other resources if you want to understand the theory more in the description. O, O, two, two, four, three, Five, five, seven, seven, nine, eight, eleven, ten, twelve, twelve. Okay. Now everything we're doing today is going to be coming from the progression C major seven to D minor seven. One measure. One measure. One measure one measure we're going to be using different shapes for both chords but that's it the harmony is just c major seven d minor seven you'll also see a c shape that's three five it's five four three three based on the a shape that's just a classic c so you can think about all these ideas basically being which goes to show you just two simple chords, we can put a lot of magic into it. So let's go ahead and look at the first example. The first example also has some fourths. We didn't harmonize the scale in fourths, but just know it's another interval and it sounds great. So let's jump into it. Over the C major seven, we're gonna play. So it's oh, oh, two, one, three, four, and you're going to roll your index finger over to the E and the A string. And play 3, 3, 5, 5, 3, 3, oh, oh. Those are all fourth intervals. And then you're going to play fourth fret on the C string, third fret. Then you're going to land on two and one. So, you get, so nice and slow, you get one and two and three and four and. Nice and super slow. One and two and three. Now notice two and one, those two notes are in a D minor, and that's on purpose. So that way the harmony really connects with the riff that we're playing. You let that ring for two beats. One, two. You're gonna play open, open, three, three. Roll over to four and three, slide to one, two and one, and then pull off. It's a double pull off. So you pull down with both, and then release. And those are eighth notes, so it's, four and one so you get one two three and four and one 
This whole thing together? One, two, three, four. Easy as that, and it sounds amazing. And we start off with this chord. Five, seven, 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 C major seven. And it's one, two. So I use my on the first beat, use my thumb, drag it out a little bit. And on the second beat, I use my index finger and I release the pressure right away to get a staccato sound. One, two. One, two, and three. One. So right after that, we're going to slide five to seven with our middle finger on the C string. And then we're going to pluck seven and seven, thumb on the C string, index on the A, on the third beat. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And five, five. Down again to four and three. And then I'm going to let go and I'm going to bar the fifth fret and then I'm going to play 5-5 five, five like this because I strum the D minor 7 on the next one. So it's 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 1. Try to strum through with your thumb on that D minor 7 too and then down. 5 up to 7 again, down to 5-5, five, five. then make this C shape and hit 3 and 4, and then through. So you get, if we put this one together, we get 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 1, 2, and 3, and 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then any rhythm you want after that. <clears throat> goes crazy with the six. We're going to slide four to five and then hit five back to four and three. One E and two. So make sure you get to this on the second beat. Down to two two. Then you're going to go up back to that same four slide five five but this time you hit five five again and then up to seven seven. So you get So the first measure, nice and slow, would be one E and two and three and four and. Then we're up here. We're gonna slide seven to nine. Index finger, grab the eight. Back to seven seven. Back to five five. Let that ring out, and then we're gonna go five, 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 slide four, and that four should land right on the one. Grab three with the index finger, and then hit three and four again. Then on the uh, third beat, down on the C.
gonna start with this C shape, pinch the two middle, one, and then down. One, two, and three, and four, and. One, two, three, and four, and one. Then you come up to that bar, bar the fifth fret, pinch the middle two. So you get one, two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, and four, and one. One, two, three, and four, and one, two. Nice and slow. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two. Very cool. Here, this one gets crazy. This one is a high G. You can play it on the low G, but I wrote it, or I arranged it with the high G. We're gonna one, two, through our C major seven. One, two, rest on the two, so I go and mute it. One, two. We're gonna go two hammer four, open G, open A, open, open, one, two, slide three, four. One, two, three, and a four, E, and. Up to here, five, 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 five. Then we're gonna slide five to three, and hit five, five again. 3, 4, slide to 1, 2, pull to 0, 0, and strum our C major 7. Nice and slow. 1, 2, 3, and a 4, and a boom, down. Nice and slow. This one's really hard to count because it's 3, and a 4, E, and a. And then here, okay, so this starts off, strum through that C major seven, and then a quick one. So one, two. That second part's only half a beat though, so you play it and mute it. One, two, three, E, and a. Uh. Two hammer four, open G, open A. Just like that. Then you're gonna play the two middle strings open, and hammer into both of them, and let's slide up to three, four. <laughs> it's so cool. One, two, three, and a four, and. Strum through five, 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 five. Strum through again, and then release the pressure, making it staccato. One, two, five, slide to three. And keep that finger there because you're gonna hit five five here, but then you go right to three four, and you have this finger here already on the third fret. Slide it to two one, and then pull them both off to C major seven. So you get one, two, three and a four and a one. So these two together. Lovely.
there you have it, folks. That is how you interject these ideas into your rhythm to give it more of a soulful Motown vibe, to give it that Stax vibe, to give it that 70s, the Otis Redding, the <laughs> vibe. You know what I mean? Cool cat, daddy-o. I don't know what people how people talked back then. Um, what's the happening, brother? I like that. What's, what's the happening, brother? I might have to bring that one back. Until next time, keep on rocking and rolling. And it is quite hot out here in my three-piece suit, brother. But you got to look fresh if you're a cool cat. Yeah, that just sounds goofy. Subscribe and learn. Check out these videos here. They'll help you. Remember, rhythm is more important than you realize. That's how you level up. Take care. Catch you next Wednesday or Saturday. Peace.